big ass basket. When your husband gets you a new plant, a giant new hanging plant, look at that. Wow. Just give you a scale. It is huge. The names of these? Wow. You don't know the names? Well, if you did, I wouldn't be able to remember it. <laughs> you know, oh, wow. I'd be making up stuff. Uh -huh. Wow. Yay, beautiful, beautiful. Thanks, Kareem. Nice. Pretty. Look at this magnificence. Look at it. Look how big it is. Look how ginormous these leaves are. Okay. I just wanted you to get some perspective on the size and the height. All right, y'all, we're going to eat some watermelon. This got, this has to weigh at least 10, 15 pounds. Kareem, come hold it for real. Come hold it, it's pretty heavy. Come hold it, like tell me how much you think this weighs. I don't think this is five pounds. I, I think this is like at least maybe 20 pounds. Oh my gosh. What do you think? <laughs> ten. Ten, no, 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 that's not 10 pounds. That is not 10 pounds. If the, we had the scale right now, right? You know what, Kareem, get the scale. Now I'm curious, get the scale. So we went ahead and weighed it and it was 20 pounds. That's how much it weighs, 20 pounds. Should I cut it this way or should we cut it longitudinal? What do you think, Miriam? Hmm, I think we'll cut it longitudinal. I think it'll be right, I don't know. I don't know, it's very cold though, because we had it briefly in the freezer to get cold without freezing it. Ooh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Ooh, I love when it's like crispy, like firm and crispy, but yet, you know, you can smell it, it smells really good. Who wants a piece? Gonna give us all big, big slices. Make sure you guys are staying hydrated. Oh my God, I had to come outside to eat this watermelon. It is so good. Mm-mm-mm. I don't know who came up with that stupid stereotype that only black people like eating watermelon or that somehow, you know, it comes with a negative connotation seeing black people eat watermelon. I don't know who came up with that. Obviously that was well before my time. But it's so stupid because I know everybody likes watermelon. Whether you're black, white, <laughs> yellow, whatever you are, this is some good stuff. Mm, mm, mm. Good morning, good morning. Okay, and we got our toast going. My washed tomato, tomato if you're English, not tomato. Tomato is American, tomato is English. <laughs> Avocado, we got two eggs. One egg for me, one egg for Kenton. like your eggs sunny side up or do you like it well done I'm kind of in between I don't like it hard but I do like a little bit of yolk but not too runny and I flipped the egg over once so let's take it out this one's actually Kenton's so Let's say he likes his a little runny. 
Okay, get the avocado. So this is gonna be an egg, tomato, an avocado sandwich. Let's add the tomato and I promise, or I apologize, I can't see what I'm recording right now. So I'm going to do a face up sandwich. So if he wants to close it, he can close it. So he wanted the French bread. I wanted the croissant. And we got to be a little extra and a little bit more healthy. So let's put a few crunchy um, romaine lettuce leaves. Not for, just for garnish, but honestly, it's quite um, refreshing to have the thick crunch of the romaine lettuce. All right, we got egg number two. This one is mine. And I like to follow it up with a little adobo. Bang! Just a little. And this long bread, bread knife is ideal. Now, I think I'm going to toast it. Ooh, just in time, just in time. Nice and toasted, just in time. So we're putting our egg, we're putting our egg on there. So I did mine a little different than Kenton's. I put the tomatoes on top of the egg. <laughs> and look at my avocado slices. So look at that, she is bursting through the seams with avocado. I had to cut it, so here you go. So we're about to go get some Vietnamese food. Kenton was feeling like Vietnamese food, but look at how this rain, can you hear it? Look how this rain is coming down. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Kenton got the umbrella. Big umbrella. Big umbrella. So we managed to get in the car, driving down this country road that we've never been down before. <laughs> Where we live is pretty suburban. Where we're driving though does not look like city. Let me show you. Okay, you see? So anyway, uh, we are going to get Vietnamese food. We have not had Vietnamese food in a long time and Kenton was craving Vietnamese food. As you know, his mom is Vietnamese and he grew up partially on Vietnamese food. So, I have come to love Vietnamese food and so we're trying a new restaurant that's not far from us. Um, but it, that, it, that is definitely in the city. Okay, so uh, it is a Vietnamese restaurant. We have never tried this food before. So we've gotten a bunch of different things or Kenton ordered uh, several different items off the menu so we can try it. Yeah, I can see there's quite a bit of traffic on the other side. So we found the shopping, I guess this is an outdoor shopping mall. The shopping center, I see City Trends, which is clothes, Bad Cop, which is furniture, Carolina Beauty Hair and Wigs, woohoo! Big hair store. We might come find that place. And then, uh, what is this? Warehouse, surplus warehouse? Yeah, cabinet. So uh, I don't know this area at all. We've never really been here. I don't know if we're in the right place. I don't know. It's, 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 Rent a center. It's well, it's clearly an ethnic -y area, shopping area, rainbow, which is kind of discounted clothes, cheap clothes. Uh, yeah, plasma. Cool. Hmm. Hmm. This is where I guess you come and donate plasma to make money. Wow. Interesting. An I place. Nope. I don't see any Vietnamese place. Law firm. A law firm. There's a Royal India. That's another restaurant. But yeah, this is definitely an ethnic Jamaican. place. Wait, what? There's a Jamaican flag in the window. Wait, what? Jamaican restaurant. Mom's Jamaican restaurant. We definitely got to check that out at some point. Started raining heavy again. Okay, we found it. Do you see it? It says full oxtail. So that's where we're going. Well, that's where he's getting the food from. I don't think I'm coming out, right? There's Kenton <laughs> going in. So 
less exposure, I'm not going in. He'll bring the food on top of the fact that it's raining, right? Wow, I wasn't expecting the food to get here so fast. So Kenton just ran in and ran out. But apparently, you know, we called ahead of time and then they said it would be about 20 minutes. So we waited and drove here and it was ready and bagged. So that's nice. And I asked uh, if any of you had any specific questions about the topic of how Kenton and I met. We did a video many years ago and uh, the video actually did okay, although the quality is horrible. So I'm probably going to take it down once we do this updated version because you couldn't hear us properly. You couldn't see us properly. There was so much wind and uh, interruption or interference. So anyway, um, the point is that I asked the question if anybody had something specific they wanted us to address about how we met. That was the question, how we met, right? And then somebody said, with all due respect, uh, we want to know or I want to know uh, uh, under what religion you guys got married. And I was like, thinking did she not get the question or the topic the topic is about how we met not about how we got married or what religion I, it's like i've said it before i don't know what the obsession is with people and our religion we love god we serve god we believe in a higher power i believe in being a good person i am tired of talking about religion my religion does not define me even if i told you because i assume this person was muslim judging from the way she asked the question because i'm so used to it a lot of nigerian muslims I just feel like it's so judgmental and so personal. I mean, I know maybe culturally in Nigeria, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe culturally in Nigeria, especially in the North, people can be incredibly, I don't know, judgmental and decisive when it comes to religion. Like, can you not see that I'm a human being? who wants to do good, who believes in doing good. And I think that's what matters. Um, you're gonna judge me either way, okay? If I told you right now that I'm Muslim, does that suddenly make me a good person? I don't think so. If I told you I was atheist, does that suddenly make me a bad person? Not necessarily. I'm definitely not a atheist. <laughs> but my point is like, why can't people just be people? Why are we always trying to put people in these boxes and be so judgmental? Um, I respect all religions, okay? I deal with people based on their actions not based on what they tell me they believe it's not about what you say you are it's how you conduct your life and what i see okay what i actually see not what you say so it's irrelevant whether i tell you i'm muslim whether i'm christian whether i'm baha'i whatever the case may be just know that i believe i'm a pretty good person and i know that god loves me and i will continue to serve him okay so I hope that answers your question. So Ken came back with two soy milks, Vietnamese style soy milk, the can version. And this, ooh, this is interesting. I have not had stuff like this for years, not since Chinatown in New York. In New York. Yeah. So what has this got in there? Barley? It's barley. It's what else? Plum. It's a lychee. It's a little bit of... Um, Green jelly, uh, green jelly grass, you know. You know, I guess a different perspective I'm talking to Kenton here is that, you know, there's nothing wrong with having your own convictions about your religion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Is, uh, but there is a problem when you are so close-minded, partially because sometimes out of fear or the way you were raised to believe that everybody who is foreign or who doesn't believe the same thing as you is either evil or going to hell or not a good person i think that's when that to me is a problem uh because 
there are tons of people all over the world with different convictions than you um, and they are good people uh, you know you may not understand them you may not see the world quite the same as you know the way you see things but that doesn't mean that the way they see things or the way they were raised or their beliefs are you know less valid than yours so I think we have to be careful to be respectful uh, and not overly judgmental all the time and not so eager to put people in a box or eager to almost crucify them for their beliefs or lack of. Thank God it stopped raining as we got home. So Kenton bought some noodles as well. This is beef flavor product of Thailand. This is duck flavor. Those are the good noodles. Hi folks. <laughs> We're about to do a little reveal here. I can get the bag open. He's excited. I'm like a little kid. <laughs> it's food. So these are banh mi's, type of banh mi sandwich. Okay. Ooh, look at that. So you always can tell a good one. So you look at the bread. You need a plate? No, no. You can just show it. So here, this one's a combo. So you have your pickled daikon and carrots, cilantro, and your various uh, meats. This one is a, a grilled meat. Uh -huh. So again, uh, banh mi, so you have the uh, pickled Cucumber. relish. Well, it's, it's, it's daikon, uh -huh. pickled carrots, cilantro, and it's a grilled meat. All right, so it's, mm. this should be the bun chao yao. So, yeah, mm -hmm. so tell them what's bun chao yao. Uh, bun chao yao, chao yao is the uh, uh, egg rolls, you call them egg rolls. Uh -huh. So it's crispy, but then you have the uh, uh, sauteed beef, usually with uh, onions, lemongrass, and then you have, again, the pickled vegetables, uh, lettuce, so it's kind of like a Vietnamese salad per se. And then you have uh, the fish sauce, usually nook mom with, uh, with a little bit of sugar and uh, citrus. So yes, Kenton is very happy. <laughs> Even though I'm sure your mom will say it probably doesn't taste like mom's cooking, well, never right? Taste like mom's cooking. Doesn't taste like mom's cooking, but it's the closest thing to it. That's what some and especially for us where we live or where we've lived, you don't always see Vietnamese food. We usually have to drive quite a bit. But here, we're so happy. It's usually rice with the grilled meat and a little bit of an so egg. It looks like a fried egg, grilled yeah. meat, yeah. vegetables, sauce. Yeah. And wow. Then, and then this one's the full combination, but it has shrimp in it. Oh, really? So, yeah, yeah we so gotta so separate that from yeah, Maria so and Kareem. Right, so this has shrimp and a, and a crab patty, isn't it? Pho? Mm hmm. So, there's a broth. And then here's, so yeah, we got a little bowl. So, this one's uh, brisket. So, you have that. Right, Risk so you, oh, you mm -hmm. put the like yeah. hot yep. uh, broth on it yep. and have it in a mm -hmm. nice big bowl. Yep, so right there. And this one is oxtail. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. This, is what, this uh, is what makes this restaurant different. They do an oxtail version. Okay. All right, awesome. Yeah. Of course, it looks a little different than when I think of oxtail right. Jamaican it's style. Not, yeah, it's not. It no, doesn't have all the sauce on it. No gravy, yeah. So these are bean sprouts and lime and mint. And then this one also has a really hot pepper. So usually it's used in the food. So, this is, just, this is brisket. Is that still hot? Mm -hmm. Not or if it isn't, you can warm it up. So we're not planning to take it out in plates like we would because it's already neatly placed and this way we don't have to do dishes. So we're just gonna grab it and eat. Pure Vietnamese. People in their Vietnamese. You know, all the uh, store stuff inside. It's all 
off the means that, you know, we're going to means related. So I was able to find the needles, more like I could find the needles. Guys, here it's so quiet. It's so quiet because I guess the food is good. So everybody's quiet. Khalid, you're almost done. If you're still hungry, there's more soup. And there's also and there's these meat, sandwiches. sandwiches, yeah. You can cut it in third. Want an egg roll? I encourage you to try different foods. Even though, you know, it's kind of hard now during the pandemic to really get out there and try different foods, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Not really? Well, take out. Not going to dine in, but you should support local restaurants if possible. Right. Safely you want to try to support local restaurants in your neighborhood. Yeah. So it was $100? Yep. Because I got a little extra, so. Would you recommend it? Mm hmm Absolutely. This is, this is called, uh, the restaurant's called Faux Oxtail. Mm-hmm. It tasted pretty authentic. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah I thought good. so. Not as I good thought as... so. You, you, you finished. You really finished it. Oh, it's very good. I mean, it's not as good as my mother's cooking. Mm -hmm. I love you. <laughs> so, but, you know, but if you're a little homesick, you know, it's not bad. They decided yeah. to try a piece of the sandwich. I'm going to dip it in here. That's not what you're supposed to do, but that's what I feel like doing. Mm. So, so far so good. Everything has been delicious. I will say that. And I've had, like I said, lots of experience with Vietnamese food. Um, I've tried the sandwich. I had the noodles. Uh, their oxtail looks a little, looks a little like colorless to me. So I'm going to dip it in the sauce. Even though that's not what it came with. It's supposed to be in a broth. But I'm going to put it in the sauce. And let's try it now. Oh wow, it's quite tender. It's a lot softer than I thought it would be. Mmm. And you can taste the star anise. A lot of Vietnamese food is cooked with star anise. It's actually quite good. <laughs> and the damage has been done. That definitely hit the spot. Still raining on and off. Thanks for watching Kenting and Habiba on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. <laughs> Come back soon. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, comment. Well, actually, most of you always comment and you leave us such wonderful comments. So I don't even have to tell you to comment. You always do. And we really appreciate it because we read them all. So anyway, don't forget to come back soon. We will have another video. I don't know. It might be a vlog. It might be a DIY. It might be a sit down or chat with Kenton. Not sure. But come back soon. And check me out on Instagram or follow me on Instagram. And definitely follow me on my blog. www.habibatunowmd.com I am trying to put up some more interesting blog posts and there should be something there now. So go check it out. It might be a little controversial. I'm not sure. And uh, I will see you soon. And so will Kenton. 
So thank you so much again, and we'll see you soon. Bye. So you guys were used to seeing us take walks in our last neighborhood. You don't actually see us walk here since we moved, but we do. We have been walking.